So good morning, everyone. So today our topic is about the Spay Apps application uh, It's the stock tech application. Actually, it's not for stock tech. Uh, actually, it's the inventory uh, apps. And then the consignment flow as well. So today agenda will, will be the this tool. And then uh, first for the apps one, I will show how to download the apps and then function of the apps and the Dynamo and the Spay apps integration, how to do, and then the stock tech floor for the Spay apps. And then the next one will be the consignment. I will introduce some of the consignment uh, concept and then the system systems project and the consignment operation for and the, some of the report. Okay, so for the first one, uh, before we use the apps, we have to download the apps first. Uh, so uh, we now uh, we only available to download through this link only not yet uh, at the Play Store as well. So far, I think this one is for Android version. So if let's say you're using uh, iPhone, maybe you, uh, and then the Spay apps actually is a portable device uh, to do the stock count process or inventory process. Okay, and then if let's say you do the stock count, once you've done the stock count, it will direct upload to our Dynamo. For last time, if let's say you use the portable device, actually you have to export the file then import to Dynamo. For this one, uh, actually also got this kind of function. But for here, if let's say you got to uh, some of the setting for the uh, episode day, then once you uh, already done the stock count or stock take at the apps, it will directly upload to our Dynamo. Okay. Next will be, if let's say after you done the application, download and install, you have to activate the license. First, if let's say you want to activate the license to link to our, our cloud server, our smart cloud server Dynamo database, you have to request the uh, license for testing from Simon. And then uh, you have to, after, if let's say you, after you get the license code, you have to, you have to, uh, <clears throat> you have to register the, your information. If let's say uh, for user, you have to register the user information, uh, like the company name, address, anything for here and the terminal ID as well. If let's say uh, the company got few devices to use this one uh, apps, you have to mention this device is under what terminal ID like our post system. Okay, and then uh, your license, if let's say you done the activation, you will show this message. And then just now I mentioned the terminal ID also will be the document prefix. That means any document you done at the app, it, it will as a document prefix number. If let's say you set a uh, ABC for the terminal ID, every document in front from this app it will show ABC dash what uh, the document number. Okay, so this is the system side in screen. If let's say you link to our server, the demo server, you have to select the database of, and then the location for the device. And then the username is admin, password is 123456. But have to take note, if let's say you uh, have to, if you log in under the HQ location, if let's say suddenly you change to another location, it will uh, assisting the data and inside the apps here, it will resync again and delete it before the things if, uh, before you log in. So this one have to take note. Of. Okay, this is the system, the app, the 
the app dashboard. So uh, here I got briefly to uh, to show what is the function at the this one uh, dashboard here. You can see the burger menu here. This is the burger menu. Once you click here, actually you've got a slide here. You show the license and information. And then this one, the first icon here is the H2 location. This is the terminal ID. This is the date. So the date will be the later you, if any document you've done, you with the document date as well. Here you can see the product. If let's say you want to see all your product listing what from the system, you can check here. And then here we can see the module. So here actually got three module, inventory module, supply module, and customer module. Once you click the main module here, you can see the sub module uh, at the bottom here. And then here you can see uh, download and up upload icon here. So download from Dynamo or upload to the server, sorry. Download from server or upload to server. Later I will show here, uh, actually this space app have to install an application at the server as well. Then only the data there to link to our terminal. Okay, here will be the product. If let's say just now you click the view all product there, it will show the all product here. Every item here, you can click and see the details, but you cannot amend any things here. Cause all the information will be from uh, the database there. And then uh, you can see the category upside. Once you click the category, it will show all the category as well. Okay, you can see the barcode, I, uh, the button here. Once you click, you can scan your barcode. Then you can to search your barcode item. And then here you will got the update quantity from the Dynamo. You will get the quantity from the Dynamo. And then here you can see actually the search column here, you can search by your product description, barcode or stock ID as well. So all the information will download from Dynamo there. So this is the next one will be more the, the module. We will be the, got the first one is the inventory module. At the inventory module here, we got five sub module. First one will be the stock tech. So this is today our main, mainly we we'll talk for this one. Uh, to do the stock count. After you done the stock tech at here, system will sync to the Dynamo stock tech as well. If you done the stock transfer from location A to do location B, you will sync the stock transfer to our Dynamo stock transfer. Gap check is the to do the stock adjustment. You sync to our Dynamo stock adjustment as well. Okay, stock replenish will be the to do the stock reorder. Price updated will update the product price and then will direct sync to Dynamo stock maintenance. That means once you update the price update. Uh, any item, the price here, the price will directly to update at our Dynamo stock maintenance, the product there. Okay. Next will be the supplier module. You can use the PO regression. PO is the purchase order, GRN good receipt note, and the return note as well. Here you can do the purchase order request for the sub purchaser. That's mean the sub for the purchaser, you can to do the pre-o requisition. Then uh, uh, the user will compile all the data for the purchaser to request what they want to order from the supplier. So this one will sync to our dynamic purchase requisition. PO will be the purchase order for supplier. That means uh, if let's say all oh, you done the PO here, 
uh, this one will sync to our dynamic purchase order. Good receive note will be, if let's say, uh, or any DO from the supplier, the user can scan the, the product, follow the good receive note, then this one, once they're done, it will sync to our dynamic good receive note as well. Return note will be, if let's say got any product you want to return to the supplier. So once they're done the process, we will sync to our good dynamic good return notes. The next one will be the customer module. We can do the DO and sales order. Any DO you want to send to customer, you can scan to here, from here to sync our to sync to the dynamic uh, delivery order, and then the sales order as well. Okay, under the just now the burger menu there. Once you click the function the icon, it will show the license code, the app's version. And then the management setting and the management and the setting. Management will be the product management, user management, and the access access right actually for the apps there. And then uh, the company setting, uh, application setting, all will be uh, setting from here. And then here you can see the last thing, uh, date and time. So maybe this one here, you, you can try first. For details, uh, to them maybe no talk about here. So maybe you can try first, uh, then any question you can let us know. Okay, the next one will be the Dynamo Space Apps integration. Uh, how we install this one Space Apps at the server, then to do the integration between Dynamo and the space app. Actually, uh, the space apps also have to install a database at the server as well. Then they will link together. So before you start to do the installation, you have to uh, download the installer, database, and the guideline from here. So this is the link. Later, you can get from here. And then after you download the installer and the database folder, you may create a folder at the path there. You can uh, do like this. Then put the downloaded folder to here and create a folder named space app data or DB to, to set up the database. After that, you, you have to deploy deploy it and then you follow the guideline actually you can click the link here it will be this one you can click the link here the here will guide you how to transfer the file and then install the .NET framework 3.1.5 and then how to attach the database to the management studio there and then you have to set the port for the app, for the instant there. And then you have to set the firewall in power rule to allow the port. We will use two port up to here, 7,000 and 7,001. So these two port, you have to set the port for a thing. This is for the API server. And then, uh, after you install the apps here, you have to set the configuration at the configuration file there. After you done all the things, and then uh, you can try to open the space app at the server there. Actually, this one is the application to log in at the server there, the PC computer. Okay. And then after, if let's say you can open means that's been your, your, uh, your setting is correct already. Uh. So the user ID and password will be the space app. And then the next one, you have to set up the space app API server to install the IIS, the internet uh, 
Okay. So this one, so set up this one. Uh, you have to install just now. I, as I said, it's the internet uh, information system. IIS, the manager installation, and then attach the database as well. So this is the IIS setting. You can click on the from the control panel there. Then uh, you can click on the control panel there. You fire up uh, at the turn on windows or turn off the, set, the setting there the program and features to turn on the Windows features or on or off that. You can see got a setting is the IIS. So this one, you have to enable this function, then you will install. After you install this one, you can see, you can click on the start there. You can see the run, you can run the, this one, internet information service IIS. So after you install, then you have to set a new site for the IIS. So you right click at the site there, you add the website. Then you key in the site name and browse the API folder. Okay. So here you can set the Spade Apps API. And then the path is just now uh, we got installed. You got put the folder there, you find up uh, the folder called the inventory API. So you put the path here, then you click the connect as you put the username and password for the PC. Uh, for this one, username is uh, if, if let's say the PC got uh, the username and password, so you have to set the username here and the log, Windows login password to here. Then the last one, you have to modify the store procedure. This one actually, you have to you have to set at the just now you attach the database for the space app. So inside got a procedure folder. You you right click there to modify, then you replace the dynamo uh, the database name there. And then we, once you're done here, actually it's almost complete the setting already. Lah. And then you have to provide the DDNS, the host name and the port number as well to activate the license. So this is just what, what I say. After you're done, you will see the space API here. And then here, as just now mentioned, actually you just now click the connect as you try to test the setting, it will show this one. If let's say here you can see got two green tape, that means uh, your setting is correct already. Hmm. That's it. Uh, so far you will got a bit more setting, lah, but you have to cost your setting is do correct. Actually, you've done all the things. If let's say smooth, that means uh, your user will use will be more smooth la, actually. Maybe here starting you do the setting uh, a bit more, but when you user use it, maybe smooth will be more faster. Because you you set the time for user to to do the import or for export the the, the, the file back to the dynamo there. Okay, for here, the next one, we, if I say just now you've done all the finish, all the setting, you can try to log in at the server, the apps there. And the smartphone there, you have to make sure you've got installed the, just now the apps as well. So this one will be, you can see the application at the server and the your phone there. But mostly we will use the, the phone for Nila. The server there, maybe we check the some of the setting. If let's say for your try the testing there, if let's say you don't want to do just now the step before you, you try the environment, we already 
got the, this kind of thing at our server already. So maybe you can try to connect to our database, the club database there. You do the setting, you can use this one IP and the port. We got a database is the dynamo concept store. So every, uh, every stock take or any uh, setting you have or any transaction or any document you have done at the app there, all will be synced to our this one database. That's mean if let's say you got the do the stock count, we will sync the data to this one dynamo concept store. This is the, our stock take flow. Once the user done the stock take at here, we will directly to sync to the server PC. First, it will go through the this one space app database first. Then uh, it will use five minutes to auto sync to our dynamo the stock take there. But here, if let's say you want to run the automatic, you have to do the task scheduler. But so far we will set it at the server. So you can try the, if let's say you have done one of the stock take at the app there, you will try to wait five minutes, then you uh, you see, is it the stock take it will show at the stock take or not? Okay, so this is the flow how we do the stock take show the apps there. First, we have to click the stock take, then we click the app, and we use the this one, scan barcode, or the user can search the item also. If let's say they don't want to use this one scan link, then you can, system can scan the barcode. But before, if let's say user uh, want to key in the quantity, before they scan, if can, you try to enable this one key physical quantity first. Once they scan the item, then directly can overwrite the quantity here. Then you can take to scan to next. If let's say got another item to scan. So after that, you can see the item will be show at here. Means already successful to do the stock take, you will got the listing at here. You can turn back to the screen, to the main screen here. You click the upload to the server space app, the space app there, to our server space app. Then uh, here you maybe can see the, uh, if let's say you can see here the status is sync, that means your data already sync to the space app, the database there. But, you have to wait five minutes, sync this topic to our Dynamo. And then after five minutes, you can see the document at the Dynamo there. So this is the, we will put the remark here, is the device topic number. So you can check that as a reference. And then in the system here, we've got a, another document uh, number for the topic. So this is the topic for how to run at the environment for uh, state app application to our time. Okay, so the next one will be the consignment in for the supplier. So it will be some of the introduction for the consignment and the systems, dynamo system setting logic for the consignment and the consignment operation flow and some of the consignment report. Okay, so consignment concept actually is a business arrangement uh, where the company also called the consignee agree to pay a certain percentage of the proceed to the seller or consigner after the goods are sold. That means uh, like this one, uh, this image, the consigner principal that send the goods to the consignee agent and they put it, they are stored there and they will sell it. So once they sell it, the buyer pay the money for the consignee. That means that the sales already done. So uh, 
the consignee will based on what they sold, pay the money to the consignor. Then at the structure, the consignor will uh, pay the commission to the consignee. So consignment business is usually a retail store that specialized in specific types of the consumer goods. Common products sold through the consignment or secondhand store included the clothes, uh, so shoe, baby furniture and accessory, antique collectible item, and the furniture or toys as well. So uh, the advantage of, of the consignment sales is uh, self inventory holding cost by the sending the goods to the consignee. No need to spend time to create list to sell goods. Uh, no need to open or set up a retail store. Easier to persuade the consignee to stock their goods. Up. For the consignee, they does not require to pay up front for the goods. So no need to pay the goods first up before they sell it. So unsold goods can be returned for no cost, thereby reducing the risk. That means the not popular product for them, not hot selling product. What they cannot sell for the product, they can return for the uh, consignor. So it will reduce the risk to, uh, to lose the cost. And then no need to pay for the goods before the goods sold to the end user. The advantage will be the earned income is less than the income from direct sales to end user. Cause at the center there, they have to pay the consignee. That's why they will reduce the income to earn. And then keep the risk and ownership to themselves or any unsold goods will return from the consignee without any cost. And then the consignee may not give enough publicity or visibility to the consignment goods. The disadvantage for the consignee will be the numerous goods are not so inventory holding costs will increase. And then the potential difficulties in managing inventory related to consignment. So this is the advantage or and the disadvantage for the consignee and the consignor at the consignment sales day. So at our dynamo system setting logic, we have to set at the stock maintenance there for the consignment goods is uh, we have to take this checkbox uh, consignment in. And then the costing method is the fixed cost and the type will be non-stop because this one is not under uh, the user own stock. That's why we cannot put it at the stock. And then the user defined group here, you can try to put the uh, supplier or the vendor name to, to filter the report of the So this is the setting for the consignment in. Uh, that means if let's say the user got the supplier supply the stock for the user, your customer is a consignment sales, so they can set the uh, item at our system like this. But have to take note is the consignment goods supplied by one supplier only. Uh, user cannot accept few supplier for same product. So if let's say they, they want to do that, really they want, want to do few product, uh, uh, sorry, one product for, from few supplier or vendors, they have to create multi-product. That means it's for supplier A for the item A. For the item, this one product ABC, they have to create the item for the supplier ABC. If let's say they got another product SYZ, also same, but uh, they have to create one more, the uh, product is for supplier SYZ. So cannot mix up uh, actually. If let's say you mix, you have to create, uh, if you want to, uh, the user want to accept 
few supplier for same product they have to create uh, another product code for the item even same product so this one have to take note cannot mix up if let's say a uh, same product so some of the special setting as i uh, mentioned at the highlight here this one have to take up the consumer in costing method must be fixed cost you have to maintain your own cost when the supplier come the gin they they got they got a cost for the item they have to maintain the cost there and then the stock type must uh non-stop here actually it depends on you if let's say user defined group one already uh using for the user maybe you can use two or three as well okay the next one will be set up the cup file you can set up the supplier id if let's say can you can create a group for the consignment then when the uh, user want to filter the product oh uh, sorry filter the supplier they can filter of oh, which one is the uh, outright customer supplier which one is the consignment supplier the next one will be the consignment flow how to when the consignment accept the uh, sorry when the user accept the look uh, the do from the supplier so they have to key in at the good receiver here uh, for here if let's say the, this one the do is the consignment do uh, user have to take this one consignment in so here once you take here that's been when you search the product only the consignment in product only it will not show other product under this uh this thing here and then uh after okay after this uh key in this one if let's say they got a uh, sales already they run some of the sales already then uh the, the supplier send them the supplier invoice so they can import the good receive note from this one consignment sales when they import the when they key in the supplier invoice they can import the from this usually we we use uh this one import from good receive note but for here actually uh we got the new function here is the consignment sales i think this one is a uh, four four years or five years ago already for this one consignment sales okay and then uh if let's say you select this one import from good receive no consignment sales you will you will see this screen so uh you you can try to import from the date here and here you can see the sales summary how much they sell on this period then system view show you automatically to match the quantity for you based on the do the good receipt note there so here you can see the original quantity for the good receipt note is 100 100 but under this period the sales is so eight for this stock id abc 001 and abc 002 is nine so system will automatically match for you and select for you so this one is the uh the benefit if let's say you use this one uh consignment sales for the import good receipt note. and then if let's say uh system want to system if let's say uh just now here is the the product for the sole product here if let's say uh the balance of the grn they want to return to the supplier they can import from the good receive note as well then system will show the balance for just now uh matching this one this one is the matching quantity one. so this one the balance will be the unmatched quantity so here you can uh selected it for the good receipt uh good return note 
for the mesh quantity. So this will be more easier for the user to uh, check it. And then system also able to let user to select the unsold damage consignment good to return to the supplier. So here, if let's say, just now uh, don't want to import by the, this one good receipt note, user also can uh, select by themselves. So here also can select, but here you have to take this one, oh, consignment in stock on it. That means when they search at the good return, they only to show the consignment product at the listing there. So far, here is the consignment flow from the good receipt note, supplier invoice for if let's say they got us any sales ID for the product. And then if let's say the balance stock they want to return, then uh, here also can show already show the step how to do the good return note for the product, either import from the good receipt note or can select by uh, user own cell for the unsold or damaged consignment goods. At the end here, we will show the report to check the consignment goods on hand. So here we got the we can check the stock balance quantity listing there. For here, the stock type we have to select the non stock. Lock. That's just now we do the setting for the consignment stock is the non stock, and then. Here we have to select the supplier. If let's say the user not using the user defined group one, maybe two or three, they can select. Then uh, at the report here, we'll show the consignment goods on hand for this supplier. This one supplier ABC. So here you can see the balance stock. And then we can check the consignment goods activity from uh, the stock activity listing. Also same to select the stock time non-stock and then select the supplier. After that, we can see the stock uh, the activity at the system there. The purchase, good receipt note, and then the sales, how many done. If let's say they do the cash sales, if let's say they do the Invoicing, it will show at the invoicing here. So at the end here, you can see the on hand balance on same as the, just now the stock balance. Okay. Here, the next one will be the stock sales analysis detail or summary also can. Before check the consignment good selling profit margin, need to update, uh, we have to update the fake cost history in order to get the profit margin. First, we have we can use the smart inspector when key in the good receipt. Note. So when key in the good receipt note or invoice, we can uh, update the system cost. Cost this one is we using the fixed cost. So we can update the system cost. And then or we can go back to the stock maintenance, direct update the system cost also can. But when you set, they will prompt this message. Is it want to update to the new effective date for this cost? If let's say, uh, yes, here we will update the date start from when and uh, in valid until when for this costing. Okay, next we will after we done just now the this kind of the fixed cost history, update the cost, then we go through the stock sales analysis there. So also same to check the non-stock and the supplier. Then you get the uh, the profit margin for the consignment stock. Summer just now here it will show the details. For the stock sales analysis, the next one will be the summary. So the details will show the uh, every document for the product selling. The next one will be the summary only. Okay. 
some of the supplier also will request the consignee provide the stock sales analysis for them to billing. Okay, so uh, user also can provide just now the stock sales analysis, either the summary or details, but maybe the we use the summary will be easier for supplier to do invoicing now because they do based on just now like this one summary how much the uh, the, the total up the product how much they sell then uh, they directly to key in at the invoice so uh, the you, the supplier will directly to provide the invoice based on just now uh, what they sell so here directly to key in at the invoice same as the just now the source sales analysis summary Here, the next one will be the stock aging. How long they keep the product? If let's say keep too long, they want to return it or to the supplier, then they can use the stock aging listing here. We can check the consignment goods, how long they keep long. If let's say the Quantity show on at the behind the last column here. That means the product already keep too long or too. So uh, maybe they want to return and change some of the another new stock. So they can change based on this uh, stock aging listing. If let's say uh, from in front here, that means this product is the new product come in from this, uh, this two months. So here, uh, maybe the user that can use this listing, if let's say the item is not hot selling, so they can change some of the hot selling product from the vendor or supplier there to, to keep uh, the, their sales more better. So this is the uh, today uh, webinar present. So if you guys see any question, you can ask for the consignment. So can us can explain the consignment from customer part. So any idea of how to do the consignment for our customer? Actually, it's almost similar, but uh, the consignment for the customer there, if let's say can, uh, we will do the method like the stock transfer, stock transit transfer to another location. That's mean if let's say you've got the customer uh, means uh, customer ABC, you have you try to create a location for the customer, is the customer ABC. Then you do the stock transfer to that uh, location. So uh, if let's say got any product there, so you can directly do the invoicing under the location. Then after you issue the invoice, you can see the balance, how many they keep at the location is the balance of the customer shop there. Yes, correct. But the setting, uh, no need to set the consignment in also can. And then the costing method, you have to select that your own costing method, uh, no, not the big cost. Uh. And the, pro, the stock type, is the stock up cost that one is under your stock, not the not the stock for the from your supplier. No need because customer is our is their cost already. We sell uh, because the we sell the them is our customer. So the cost is their cost, so they just sell whatever they sell in their particular customer side. We no need to keep no need to care about that. No need. So that's mean the stock is uh, paid by your the, the user. Yes, yes. A supplier, how to check consignment stock stock level? This is check the what they call just go back shop balance using same method. Take the stock non stock, then select the particulars user defined by this supplier. Then you can check the stock balance for consign, consignment stock balance. Huh? This is how we check. Okay, should so on you're asking the apps is applied to Android version. That's why you need the uh, what they call. If you offline, you also can do it. As you can do it offline, yeah. Huh? Offline can do the stock take. In important, you might install the apps to the Android machine first. This is the first first thing you need to set up. 
It's a you know internet also can do it. Uh, don't just record offline version. Because this one can export the file and import to Dynamo. Yes, you export and import the methods. I want to share a link here. You can download the APK from here. You you can download first, but the server there uh still got some maintenance for the for the apps there. So if let's say got any update, I will let Simon know. Then Simon will let you know. So you can download first, then to link to the server there. Uh, I will let you know by later. So thanks everyone for your attendance today. Thanks for the section yeah thanks all for the time uh see you again tomorrow or next month okay. thank you so much thank you, uh. thank you. Yeah. thank you everyone to join the yeah. webinar